looked at whether higher levels of aircraft noise were linked with a higher risk of hospital admission or death from stroke, heart disease or cardiovascular disease. Previous research that we've done has looked at the risk of high blood pressure in association with aircraft noise and road traffic noise um, and uh, for that study we looked around seven European airports including London Heathrow and we saw an association particularly with nighttime aircraft noise and with risks of long-term um, high blood pressure. We know that acute exposure to loud noises can uh, affect a startle reaction in a person with an increase in heart rate and a, a short-term increase in blood pressure and there is some evidence that this rise in blood pressure may be sustained if there's continual exposure to louder noises. And we know, for example, that blood pressure is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease, coronary heart disease and stroke. Well, Heathrow Airport is situated in the west of London. So in this study we included um, 12 London boroughs and 9 districts to the west of London that are potentially affected by aircraft noise related to um, aircraft taking off and landing from Heathrow. We had a very large study area with 3.6 million people. So what we did was divide it up into neighbourhoods of about 300 people and we looked at the risks um, in each area. Uh, we looked at risks for stroke and heart disease and circulatory disease for both hospital admissions and deaths. And um, we looked at the aircraft noise levels in 2001 and then the um, risks of hospital admission or death in 2001 to 2005. Well, we found increases of risk with increasing exposures in these areas to aircraft noise. We looked at a number of factors which may help explain the results of our study. Uh, these included uh, deprivation, which we know is an important association with ill health. We looked at lung cancer mortality of the areas as a proxy for cigarette smoking. And we also looked at the eth ethnic makeup of areas because we know that there are different rates of heart disease and stroke in different ethnic groups. And for the London boroughs, we were able to look at air pollution and noise related to road traffic exposures. And what we found is that the adjustment for ethnicity, particularly areas where there was a high proportion of people of South Asian descent, reduced the observed associations with, in particular, heart disease and cardiovascular disease. And we know also that people of South Asian descent have high rates of heart disease. And so this if you like, is a partial explanation for our findings and what we call confounding. The precise role of noise exposures on ill health uh, is not well understood and our work and the work of others suggest there may be possible associations with cardiovascular disease risk and this is an area where more research is needed including more research on the potential role of aircraft noise on ill health.